find the partial fraction decomposition of x minus 1 over x times x squared plus 1 all squared. Now, first off, we have to see if we can factor the denominator, which we can't. This is already completely factored. Second, we're going to split up the denominator into each of its factors. And so x is just x. We have a over x because it's a linear factor. So any linear factor, you just have a constant, which we don't know yet, a. For these quadratic factors, we have to use each power of the factor. So we have x squared plus 1 and x squared plus 1 squared. And for quadratic factors, we have a linear uh, numerator. So we're going to have bx plus c and dx plus e. Now we have this equation. What we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the entire denominator on the left. So we have just x minus 1. And this side of the equation is also multiplied by this entire denominator. So the a term, the x will, that we multiply by will cancel out. But the x squared plus 1 squared will be left over. Here, one of the x squared plus 1s will cancel out, but we'll still have x and x squared plus 1. And here, the x squared plus 1 squared will cancel out, and we'll just be left with x. And so now we have this big array of variables and terms and expressions we have to expand. And so x squared plus 1 squared, if you do the, uh, that foiling, those two, if you do that part, that's x to the fourth plus 2x squared plus 1. Here I multiply the x to this part, so I have bx squared plus cx, and here I have, I multiply the x to both terms, so I have dx squared plus ex. Now, all the way back to the front, I'm going to multiply the x by each of these three terms, that's what I get. I'm going to foil these two binomials, so the bx squared plus cx, multiplied by the x squared plus 1. These are the four terms that you get. And we just have the dx squared plus ex on the end. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do something called equating coefficients. And so what we're going to do is we're going to collect all the terms of each power. So for the fourth power, we have ax to the fourth and bx to the fourth. So we're going to kind of factor out the x to the fourth, but put it on the right. So we have a plus b x to the fourth. And we're going to do the same thing for each power. There's only one cubic term, so we have cx cubed. For our squared term, we have 2ax squared plus bx squared plus dx squared. So we collect all those coefficients multiplied by x squared. Then for the just the linear x term, we have cx plus ex. So that becomes c plus e times x. And then for our constant, we just have an a. And so what we mean by equating coefficients is we take all the variables on the right, they have to be equal to the coefficients on the left. So we notice that there's no x to the fourth term on the left. So this a plus b must be equal to 0 because this term needs to be cancelled out in order for the right side of this equation to equal the left side of this equation. So we have a plus b equals 0. Again, there's no cubic term on the left, so it's c equals 0. There's no x squared term on the left, so 2a plus b plus d equals 0. There is a linear term, x, which has a coefficient of 1, so c plus e must be equal to 1. And a that's the last one. It has to be equal to the constant here, so it's a equals negative 1. And what we have to do is solve for all these variables using our system of equations. Now, this is fairly straightforward. There are more complicated ones, but here we have um, a plus b equals 0. And we know a, so negative 1 plus b equals 0, and so b equals 1. Next, we can use equation 4, c plus e equals 1, because we know c equals 0, and so that means e equals 1. And next we can use equation 3 because now we know a and b. We know a equals negative 1 and b equals positive 1. We can plug those in for a and b and we get negative 2 plus 1. So that's negative 1. So then d equals 1. And so now we have all the variables a, b, c, d, and e. And so our final answer, if we take a look back into our original equation, we have a equals 1, negative 1. So it's negative 1 over x plus bx plus c and b is 1 c is 0, so all it is is just x over x squared plus 1, and dx plus e, and d is 1, and e is 1, so we have x plus 1 over x squared plus 1 all squared, and so this is our final answer.